right. Who forgot to turn off the outer seg before coming on? This chick. All right. So we're back on Nerd Talk, and I'm Pixie. I'm Sun. And I'm, and I'm Person. And you guys just talked over each other. <laughs> well done. Wow, we've got four right now. Oh, that's right. You don't have headphones, so you can't hear what's going on. Oh, boy. You have no knowledge of what Pyro says. Oh, dear. This isn't going to end well. We'll see. No, it doesn't really work. But this new guest is even a surprise to me, so... Right? Yeah. Viewers but... will find out about it when I do. Our, our lunch delivery man also decided to came in, uh, come in and talk uh, news with us. Let's see. Figured why not. Oh, I can't turn up the monitor because that would cause a feedback loop. So, yeah. There's there's nothing I can do for you. You don't get to hear when Pyro talks. Okay, just like raise your hand whenever he's talking. I, so I, I will I'm do my best. <clears throat> yeah, at any rate. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk news stories because we haven't done those in a while because it's been kind of a, a weak news uh, stream. So it looks like Pixie has done her homework and in fact done printouts. So we'll let you go first. Fix? All right. Well, we'll start with the light stuff first, I guess. Um, so supposedly the, um, the, the, the game Angry Birds, mm-hmm. it's, you guys are probably familiar with it, it mobile platform. Thing. No, I've never heard of this <laughs> thing. The you know, highest selling app in the world. All the plushies <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, no, ne- never shirts. heard of it. Just never. Well, I suppose it didn't matter that you couldn't hear him because I didn't have your mic on, Echo. <laughs> All right. All right, then. Um, so, supposedly the game has passed half a billion downloads. Wow. That's pretty impressive. According to this article on Tech Business Today. And we're assuming All it that- needs to do is sell 14 times as many as it has, and everybody will have bought a copy. Yep. <laughs> well, the problem is... There's no mention in this article of whether that is including things like software updates that people download, things like you know, the buying the expansions, or like the like the alternate versions like Angry Birds Rio or Angry Birds Seasons. Yeah, um, I, I'm assuming this is for unique copies of the game. You are making that assumption. Because that's all I've got to go on, because the article doesn't specify... Um, let's see. Uh, I, I personally have downloaded Angry Birds approximately 12 times because there's a couple of different variations, and then I've had a couple of different devices that I've downloaded it on. Yeah. I've never paid mm-hmm. for I haven't paid for it even once, but the, the, I've downloaded the ad-supported Android version all uh, of the different types onto three different devices. Oh, uh, that makes sense. I, I know he got the what a pirate face for a minute there. Yeah, it's like did. I'm not used to that coming out of you. No, it's it's, it's I, I didn't pirate it. It's there's an ad supported version that's free to download on Android. Okay. All right. The Finnish developer um, Rovio Mobile says that they've shipped more than 10 million Angry Birds toys worldwide, and they've also published several books, including a cookbook. How to cook an Angry Bird? Uh, what? I guess eggs would figure highly into this, and maybe pork. Yeah, that, that's the only thing I can come up with. I'm, I'm not really seeing it. <laughs> like, one, I the the last thing I want is to look down at my plate and see like the angry, glaring red bird's face <laughs> looking back up at me. Was, ah. Or the really one that explodes. You <laughs> and be like, oh god, do I really want to stick a knife here? Oh. Killing you. Right. Let's see. Angry Bird, um, uh, the developers come out with these other statistics here, which might be interesting depending on whether or not you believe them. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, The Finnish, they're known for lying. No, developers. Troll face. You're right. Anyway, um, uh, let's see. According to to them, Angry Birds fans around the world have so far played a total of 200,000 years of Angry Birds, cumulatively. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> human race you make me sad <laughs> you might say he doesn't want to live on this planet anymore <laughs> he's not going the route of Professor Farnsworth that's for darn sure what if I could oh man Ted is old enough so there's that oh. <laughs> let's see good news everyone <laughs> yeah so 
just think of how many of those hours slash years were spent while you, they were supposed to be working. <laughs> the article actually says that. <laughs> Around the toilet or something only like that. that only it, does, it, it doesn't say like that specific wording. It's, it says basically that, you know, if you go by the 10,000 hour rule that, you know, it takes 10,000 hours to master a thing. Think about how much stuff we could have been, like, creating in the arts or, like, accomplishing with our lives. We could have, like, cured the apocalypse with that much time. <laughs> what, what did you cure, Doctor? Death. Death itself. <laughs> but I was too busy playing Angry Birds. <laughs> okay. So now you're dead. <laughs> so now you're dead. <laughs> the statistics are actually pretty Killed by an angry bird. How ironic. represents, like five or six hours per person and probably a lot of that was on the bus or in a carpool when you're yeah. traveling to work or something yeah of course i just find the article amusing so yeah them some angry birds uh i guess i'll do the next news story sure if you so got it. this was something that was actually released uh yesterday oh, this one got rain on it actually no today's the eighth something that was released this morning um so apparently the entire script, uh, well, not the entire script, major plot points of Mass Effect 3 were accidentally leaked online this morning. Face palm. Oops. Um, and, and so, Let me guess, there's a climactic battle against the Reapers. I, I would hope so. Actually, it ends in a dance-off. Oh, wow. <laughs> and Shepard wins because the Reapers don't have legs. <laughs> Oh, excellent! Well, what I was what I was thinking is, uh, <laughs> is it, it'd be it'd be like in uh, Kotor, where you could just type "dance, dance, Malik," and like Malik would, yeah, turn Yikes. into like Malik. It's girl. just going to be like in Kotor two, where the story just cuts <laughs> off without a satisfying ending. Now, now, Oblivion it, isn't making this. <laughs> We're sorry, Obsidian. Oh snap! We're actually going to put an ending in this time. <laughs> Man, Alpha Protocol was on sale on Steam for two dollars the other day, and I was like, "It's two dollars. How can I go wrong?" It's and then Obsidian. I downloaded it, you can and, go wrong. It, and it was like Obsidian Entertainment. And you and were I was like, like, "Oh, that's how I can go wrong." And then yep. I quit out of it. You were like, "Cry myself to sleep now." Oh. So yeah, um, the the f leak originated from internal story files that are bl to quote out of date and do not reflect the final story experience. So basically this is Bioware saying, oh crap, they got everything, cover it up. <laughs> Pretty much. Would be my assumption. Um, they're obviously cautioning fans. Uh, the, the, the way they put it is you should avoid these spoilers and forums for a while if you want to experience the purest form of the story in Mass Effect 3. Which I know no. I will. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be hunting these things down. Um, they've already asked uh, NeoGAF to remove the, the links and have been threatening legal actions. Kind of a duh. Yeah, so they're, they're handling this the way you would expect. There's nothing really fantastic there. I just find it funny that it got spoiled to begin with, that, that the plot wasn't kept under such lock and key that this did happen. Was it well, the same guys in charge of, like, Sony people. security or something there? Yeah. Bioware apparently didn't think they needed to hire a security team. <laughs> Either Video way. games are large projects, and when there's that many people working on it, yeah. they, the saying is that two people can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Yeah. Realistically, though, this doesn't change much of the experience of the game, even for the people who did have it spoiled for them. Because with Mass Effect, you can actually affect the story and change it. So who knows? They may have gotten the files for the story of someone whose shepherd uh, punched out the reporter, or who didn't, <laughs> or who dated uh, Tali, or someone who dated Miranda. It it all changes based on what you've done. Or Liara. Or they could have gotten the files for the time. entire event tree, including all branches. Possible. I don't know. It's it's even been quoted as saying uh, from Bioware that it's possible for Shepard to fail in the game. That there's an ending where you just don't stop the Reapers, regardless of everything that you've done. Well, you can't have two absolutely separate endings of the second Mass Effect, where, you know, this suicide mission doesn't go as well as they hoped. Oh well, no, it just well, becomes a literal suicide mission. Yeah. Oh, no, not, not so much, but because that Shepard 
that that storyline won't carry into Mass Effect Three. Yeah, so if, if your if shepherd you died, died in, if you course. died in two, you don't get to play three with that shepherd. So that's, that's <laughs> we the, can't bring him back a, a, a second time. We just don't have that much money anymore. Also, you wouldn't have access to his body. Yeah, no, that body is gone. <laughs> As it is, you were meat paste in tubes, as Jacob put it, the first time. <laughs> yeah. No, this time you would have been consumed by a black hole as you floated in space. Okay, guys, get this. An ending of Mass Effect 2 wherein you get turned into a Reaper because that's what they were doing, and then you have Shepard's consciousness in a Reaper body, and you just punch Reapers in space. <laughs> that's like a fighting game now. I'd play it. <laughs> a, a variation in which the dead Shepard becomes a Reaper and now has to punch Reapers. Exactly. Reaper reporters? Shepard would be up for this. <laughs> Shepard would find that reporter and go, want to run a story now? <laughs> or the council member who is all quote-unquote air quotes Reapers. <laughs> yeah. So Reapers aren't Not re if they died. That's Reap all I'm saying. <laughs> Reapers yeah. aren't real, huh? What do you think? <laughs> It's my ass reel it up for you. <laughs> Be an awesome alternate version. Man, now I kind of want to see this. <laughs> well, then there's two ways you can go at the very beginning of Mass Effect 3. Because you can be a Reaper versus the Reapers, or you can be a Reaper versus the Organics. See, here's and, the and thing. Side with them in exterminating. Reapers can't uh, fist bump, so uh, Shepard wouldn't be for it. Well, don't they have, like, a little tentacle tendril things in front of them? You can't tentacle bump, sir. That's illegal, and you can't show that to children. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Japan. Only in Japan, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. That's a little more mental scarring than I was hoping for. Um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop us there so that we can give our obligatory sponsor plugs for this hour since Absolutely. we spend most of it eating a sandwich. Delicious sandwiches. Um... We'd like to take a brief moment to thank all of our sponsors who made this year's To Kill a DJ broadcast possible and have made generous donations to benefit Advocate Hope Children's Hospital Family Assistance Fund. Yep. So first up, and in alphabetical order, we have Awesome Sauce Sprites. Um, whom you can find at awesomesaucesprites.wordpress.com. Got a classic gaming character you think you'd like a, a physical representation of? Luca can make it for you. There's that. Um, let's see. Next up would then be the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Um, who you can fi find um, IRL in Brookfield, Illinois, off of Ogden Avenue, uh, or online at gallopingghostarcade.com. They've generously donated three uh, day passes for the arcade, which we will be raffling um, during our sixth hour, which is coming up. And so if anybody wants to buy a raffle ticket, you're coming up on your last chance to do so. Yep, yep. Um, let's see. Uh, Graham Cracker Comics in Plainfield, Illinois, also made a generous contribution. You can find them at Graham Crackers with an S dot com uh, for all your comic y needs. Yep. Let's see. And there's also Leisure Hours Hobbies, uh, who are located in Joliet, Illinois, uh, just off of Route 30. And their website is Leisure Hours with an S dot com. Probably donated a box of confrontation werewolves for us to. Wolfen. Wolfen. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah. Those are all of our sponsors. We appreciate them. Technically, am I a sponsor now? Because my thing sold. Yeah, so it did better than most of the other things. Yeah! <laughs> so, the fine winner of that will be able to pick too. any of the Malifaux starter sets that they want. And I will base, paint, and ship them to whoever won. And build them, I assume. No, not going to build them. I'm just going to base them. <laughs> And I'm going to paint them without putting them together. That's right. <laughs> Do it yourself. This is what we call troll painting. <laughs> troll -oly 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 -oly. Mm. I'll get that guy to sing when you open the box. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that I'm done interrupting us with that, were you done with your news story? That's about all we got to say about Mass Effect right now. All right. <laughs> Take the stick out of your mouth when you speak. Nom, 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 stick. Eating There's a popsicle nothing left stick of right it. now. Just glad you and Echo aren't on camera right now. Hey, you got my internet connection back. Yeah, anyway, uh, so yeah, DARPA looking for help securing their networks. Um, because really, if you're worried about hackers, the best thing you can do is give them a contest. 
so basically they just they just went to the public and there's an article in Wired if you want to look it up. Um, so yeah, increasingly hostile world. They want to secure the U.S. government's network. They don't know how. <laughs> we have no idea. Honestly, quoting a, from the article, an infant could hack our network right now. That wasn't a quote from the article. <laughs> they need to go back to paper. That's the safest way. You can't hack paper, <laughs> but you can set it on fire. So, all right, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Right. Quoting from the article, the Pentagon's far out research agency and its brand new military command for cyberspace have a confession to make. They don't really know how to keep U.S. military networks secure, and they want to know, could you help them out? DARPA convened a cyber colloquium at a swank Northern Virginia hotel on Monday for what it called a frank discussion about the persistent vulnerabilities within the Defense Department's data networks. The Pentagon can't defend those networks on its own, the agency admitted. At least we're being really honest. In- I wasn't really into this story until I found out that the hotel was swank. Because, man, swank. That's pretty swanky. That's a good adjective for a hotel. Possibly even spiffy. I think those are are a little bit separate. I'd I'd say spiffy is more of an, oh, that's kind of neat. Whereas swank is like, swank has some class. That's a strut. Something that's spiffy can't be classy? Swank has verve and pizzazz. You use that word, huh? Yeah, pizzazz just went over our airwaves. <sighs> anyway, the only secure computer is one that you've unplugged from all wires and buried ten foot down in your backyard, and then dug it up and destroyed it with a hammer. Uh, That's uh, how computers work. Yep, yeah, nature of the beast. All right, then. Uh, Do you have another news story that you wanted to pull up, or should I go to my next one? You can do your next one. All right. So, Barnes & Noble releasing its Nook tablet to uh, compete with the Amazon Fire. Have you seen this? Yes, I have seen the Fire. I haven't seen the new Nook, though. All right. Well, uh, yesterday they announced the Nook tablet. It's an Android-based tablet. Um, Apparently has better specs than the Kindle Fire, though it also costs $50 more. Uh, it's going to allow Hulu and Netflix streaming and sideloading of content, but won't have access to the Android App Store. Hmm. You know, to be honest, I am kind of interested in picking up the Fire when it's available. And my cash flow allows it. I actually think the Fire is available now. It, I'm, I'm interested... I, I have a already a very high end Android tablet, so I, I yeah at no point look we'll... at all these things and I'm like I want to buy them except I already have something that is better in every way. Yeah, your tablet's pretty sweet, spiffy if you will. <laughs> all right, Nonetheless, so... a, a seventy nine dollar Kindle and the the entire range of uh, Kindle devices and Nook devices have been getting progressively cheaper, and I'm almost like they're so cheap that I kind of just want to buy one, even though I already have a better device. That but seems rather silly. It, it is very You could silly. be doing things like I buying me sandwiches it. with that money. I could. I could be buying They'd me sandwiches. They beat you sandwiches. to that one. <laughs> There's <laughs> always sense. time for more sandwiches. This is true. I'm optimistic about all of these devices getting better and cheaper at a breakneck pace. That's what they've been doing so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they they really do show no sign of slowing down. Um, This technology is just going to keep getting better as it goes. I know some people are all like, no change, but... Apparently you have, like, subtitles on the the video feed. (laughs) Oh, hey. And now you're on camera. Oh, snap. Now you have to deal with it, too. (laughs) Running. (laughs) So someone's, like, editing this right now? You oh, poor, it. poor people. Yikes. Great, now I have to put my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just like to point out that Sun is actually wearing pants. He tried to fake me out with that earlier. There's a video of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just me going, huh? Because there was no camera on and you. It's always funny but when you have to is. actually check. <laughs> Especially when tr- uh, Sun gets his troll face on. <laughs> Man, I really wish this was streaming online. I suppose I could stick my head out in the hallway and be like, hey, someone turn on the stream switch, but... There's a switch for that? Mm-hmm. It's a big red button. 
Oh, it is not. No, that's not, that's the internet. <laughs> just one <laughs> big red button. Which just shuts one you up. big red button in a warehouse in Oklahoma. And whenever your parents can't figure out how to use it, it's because someone pushed the button. <laughs> well, at any rate, um, let's see. It is 46 after the hour. Do you suppose we should take a break now? Yep, or? we can take a quick break because my internet just went down again. Alrighty then. You uh, pushed the button, didn't you? I did, apparently. We will take a short break then. And when we come back, there'll More be news. stuff on Nerd Talk.